BG is free. So today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions. Brittany Griner is home nine months after she was unlawfully jailed in Russia. And a Shave Room exclusive, a one on one with a special advisor in the White House, and why it took 294 days to get her back. I'm Justin Carter. TSR News starts right now. They took the shackles off Britney Griner's feet Thursday. Music to the ears of millions of people who called for her safe return. Back in February, Griner was arrested at an airport in Moscow after Russian authorities found vape cartridges in her bag with hash oil. It's something that the special advisor to the president, Keisha Lance Bottom, says was prescribed to her. Bottom says that people thought that the Biden administration forgot about Griner, but she says... That's far from the truth. Of course, everybody was praying and wanting Brittany home as quickly as possible. Uh, but this is a diplomatic process, and we have to remember we are dealing with a foreign entity. Bottom says that this was a deal that our country's national security team and the president worked on for months. The president deserves credit for this. He said from the very beginning, that he was not going to rest until he got her home. That painstaking negotiation intensified just in the last week. The U.S. did make an offer to Russia for the release of Brittany Griner and a man named Paul Whelan, who's a veteran that was detained in 2018 on sham espionage charges. Russia, though, rejected that offer then, but... Early December 22, they reached a deal to release Griner and not Waylon in exchange for Victor Boot, who was serving a 25-year prison sentence for conspiring to supply weapons that could be used to kill Americans. Does the president feel like this was a fair trade? Well, the president was able to get Brittany home. So I would imagine Brittany and her family and anybody who loves her that would say absolutely it was a fair trade. She was being unlawfully detained. And the question was, do you bring Brittany home um, or do you leave her as well? And the president made the decision to bring her home and the diplomatic channels will continue to try and get Paul Wayan home. What's your mood? Happy. Joy seen all over Griner's face as she made her way from Moscow to Texas for health screenings. Her wife, Sherelle, says that her family has a duty now to help other Americans that are unlawfully held captive. But I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, whose family is in our hearts today. In a news briefing Thursday, President Biden says that he is aware of the hell that Brittany Griner went through and is urging us all to be aware when we travel internationally, be aware of the travel advisories and policies when you go overseas before you get on that plane. For TSR News, I'm Justin Carter.